Hey there, family of God, I've got an urgent message, you know, and this one is for everybody in the body of Christ, but mainly for the aging Christian as they most likely are closer to their departure from this life on earth. You know, in Matthew, the 22nd chapter, the 37th verse, it says, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And there is no other commandment greater than these. Now, I'm sure if we're really about our salt and walking this thing out with Christ, we strive to accomplish this on a daily basis but on the other hand we all have folks in our lives that just can't seem to make this happen void of the fruit of the spirit and the fruits of the spirit are the calling cards of the saints fruits like love and joy peace gentleness patience faithfulness self-control kindness and generosity you know i was in my quiet time this morning And the Holy Spirit dropped this on me. And he basically told me to be patient with people, hopeful enough for them to show them genuine love that they might see the fruits of the Spirit in action through me. So the message was stressed that I need to study the fruits of the Spirit and make sure that I'm operating in them. Because we have to be an example of the things that the Lord has called us to be and to do. But sadly enough, some will never receive the weight of this message. And the message is, loving God is foremost in this walk, but loving oneself is just as vital. Because if we never get to the point that we love ourselves, we'll never love each other. At least not on the level that God has called us to. And this is the reason some will be disappointed on that great getting up morning for them because they've been drowning in self-loathing and condemnation and some never clear the barriers of self and are never able to truly love others the way God commands us to. This is a fight we've got to win down here and this is the fundamental building block of our salvation and eternal rest and without accomplishing this heaven is but a dream, a dream that will never be realized for some. So choose to love the Lord and choose to love and forgive ourself so that we can fulfill the calling to love our neighbor. I hope this message was helpful.